Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Mario's Picross, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we are still in easy mode of the Kinoko course, and looking at the uh, comments from the last video, which of course was a week ago, people have been telling me that, uh, or at least one person was telling me that Kinoko is actually Japanese for mushroom. I did not know that because, well, obviously I did not take a Japanese course. In fact, I don't think I've ever had Japanese cuisine. Well, maybe teriyaki, that's close enough. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. The point is, I have a good understanding of why they called it Kinoko in the first place. So that's actually pretty cool. You learn something new every day. So yeah, I figured I'd get this episode done because I haven't done Picross in a while, and I'm like, eh, it's getting to that time again, where I actually will have to update this project again. I mean, I'm just taking a break from studying, because we've got a business law quiz coming up tomorrow on the day I'm recording this, which is Tuesday, and a lot of people are dreading it, because A, it's a lot of stuff to study, and B, our instructor in that course has been known to, well, be a very strict marker. And I'm not talking about the kind of markers that you use to, like, sketch things. That's a different kind of marker in its own right. I'm just saying is, a lot of people are not gonna have fun with that. Including me. And I'm practically like a perfectionist. Like, I want to do really well, of course. It's either that or, you know, just continue to stagnate in life, which I don't want to do. I'll just have to settle for, like, playing video games on the internet. Who wants to do that, right? <laughs> um... Anyways, what I mean to say is that I like to actually do well. Or do good. I like to get good, scrub. <laughs> and, you know, as all the kids would say... Okay, this must be a mushroom itself that I'm making. Sure. I'm pretty sure I did. But anyways, back to that quiz. Apparently, like, the legal group, because I'm an executive, and there's, like, four branches of opposite men, which I'm taking in college. Yeah, I think that's enough. But anyways, like, uh, there's executive, which I'm in. There's records. Legal. Um, what's the other ones? And medical! Okay, yeah, there was four. Legal has the same course. Oh, wait, this is actually a burger. Well, that top bun is completely large. And people in legal were saying they never got told about their quiz until Friday, which is like three days before their quiz. And I'm like, well, that's bullshit, because we were told about ours, which is the same chapters, two weeks before the quiz is even due or even three weeks, and it was posted online. So I'm thinking the ones in legal were not checking, because that would seem very weird that they would not be notified of this. I'm just saying. Like, some things do not add up. But yeah, we got told of, like, not only the quiz that we're having, but also the amount of quizzes that we're going to be having throughout the entire semester. So yeah, we got quizzes up to December. And each of them are worth 20% each. I'm like, oh god. So if you don't do well in those, uh, good luck on making those marks back. <laughs> oh man. A lot of people are going to be crying in the corner after that's done. I'll try my best not to, because I gotta play a ping pong tournament the same day. And I don't want to be completely emotional, like, uh, hitting a white ball around. So anyways, let's just get back to the game, because, well, you don't want to hear that much about my life. You'd rather me do play-by-play -play of everything that I'm doing, right? Is this a shovel? I thought I already made those before. was saying that, you know, this is an opportunity for me to, like, uh, you know, like, 
when I'm doing these Picross videos, just talk about random shit about my day. And that's actually not a bad idea. I mean, anything you want to know about me, I mean, just go ahead. I mean, that's what the comment section is for. Feel free to do that. And I'll try my best to bring it up. You know, hopefully I don't forget. Yeah, this is definitely a shovel. Um, I'm trying my best to make these videos a decent length, like the last one. But I'm thinking, if I make them an hour... A, that's a lot of content to be compressed into one video on a Sunday. But also, what if that file gets corrupted? And like, you lost an hour of progress. And then part of me be like, well, I'm gonna cancel this Let's Play. And I don't want to do that. I mean, there was only a handful of projects that I've actually quit. Some of which were post-game content. Like, Mega Man Battle Number 5. Like, I didn't finish all the post-game. And Superman 64, which was a special case in its own right. And I mean really special. I mean, huffing glue kind of special. Don't huff glue, by the way. It's pretty bad. Like, even flavored glue. Like, that has, like, a very pleasant scent. You're not supposed to smell that long term. I'm pretty sure that was a thing. Like, glue that actually smelled good. I'm like, that's the worst kind of idea ever. It's like, oh, we got this uh, product that can be used in solvent abuse. Why don't we make people want to smell it for long periods of time? Or maybe I'm just talking out of my ass and, uh, smell, like, scented glue was never a thing. I like to believe they never actually decided to go with that. But I wouldn't put it past them. Alright, let's see what we got here. I have no idea. Uh, could there be the other two here, or could it be here? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. Okay, now I know. It actually fell into place for me. Good. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, another thing that me and my class are thinking of, like possible fundraising ideas, and usually we have fundraisers at like a bar downtown. And I'm gonna feel like, I don't know if I should be the luckiest guy in the world, or probably the most awkward guy in the world, because I'd probably be the only guy out of pretty much like all girls. Well, I there's two another guy in my class, but for, you know, like reasons important to him, he doesn't drink. So, I wouldn't imagine he'd be going to a bar, either. I mean, that would make a lot of sense. Especially if he's surrounded by it. But, yeah, there is that. So, we, I don't know when we're gonna be doing that, because, well, graduation is not for, like... I don't know, like, for a few more months. Like, we graduate in June. So, it's a little early to just be having, like, massive plans set up. But you never know. I mean, it's always good to be prepared. I mean, why do you think I go through all this trouble to prepare these projects for you guys? Okay, it's definitely not a square in here. Now, let's see. This could be a tough one, too. enough about my life. <laughs> Necklace? You know, I never even had a chance to guess what it was, and in my head I was thinking something else. So after solving the puzzle, I still got it wrong. It, it looked like, I don't know, a headset. Or, you know, headphones. Well, 
then again, like, back in the day, headphones were, well, pretty hulking. Like, they were not fancy at all. Like, I'm thinking Walkman-style headsets, where it was just completely encumbering. Those were the days. Uh, yep, guess I'll put one right here. safe to say that this is the one. All signs point to that. As for here, I'm still not sure. Oh. Well, we can get this part. Uh -huh. That's completely filled. Good. made sense. It looked like a vehicle that I'm making. Okay, there we go. Uh-huh. Is this like a UFO? Now I don't even remember what ones I've already made. Because it's been like a good while. Like, I've had a backlog of this project, for crying out loud. Oh, that's the wrong one. So it's here, then. Alright. And there we go. I think we can start filling it in from the left side now. Kinda. Yep, this is definitely looking like a UFO. Kind of looks like that UFO from Adventure Island 3. That was an awesome game, by the way. Kind of wish I was, like, still able to Let's Play, like, some of my favorite games now. Because I've practically already done them, like, at a time where I just didn't know how to YouTube properly at all. Some of you are probably thinking I still don't, but... Much better than I was back then. Like, back then, I was just pumping up way too much. In videos, don't get the wrong idea. Like, interpreting it a certain way. Okay? Like, dismiss that idea completely. But now, like, those, those days are pretty much over. Unless I want to, like, redo them. And I'd rather do, like, projects that are different than what I've done before as opposed to, like, something I've already done. Because what if I play it the exact same way? And I may not realize it until I actually do it. Just doing that for a little bit of variety. Okay, what am I going to do in this part, then? Okay, there we go. You know what? I don't think it has anything to do with my controller. I think it's just this game's input. Like, I go too fast for it. And sometimes it just messes up. It happens. Don't worry about it. Um... I guess the 8 and the 2 could be here, too. It's definitely the one. Two is right here. All right. I'm trying my best not to make sure that I'm not losing sight of like where I gotta go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is a bullet bill. 
Okay, I kind of like when you can make Mario-esque uh, creations here. I mean, it is a Mario game. Or at least it has the Mario license attached to it. Like, the Mario name. Rather than, like, being an actual Mario game in its own right. It's still pretty neat if you're into Picross. It also gives you, like, a good feel for, like, how they come up with these 8-bit sprites. Like, you can actually, like, fill in your own squares or pixel art to create a bullet bill if you didn't know if you were going to get it just right. Something like this will actually help you. That's great for, like, pixel art or perler art, or maybe you're inputting in Minecraft. It's up to you, man. By filling in those squares, you know how to make a bullet bill as well. It's up to you to decide what colors you're going to use. I think that's a pretty neat touch. I didn't want to get that row there. That was just a gimme. Oh, well, I'll have to live with it. Oh, there were a couple 15s right here. started. So I'm bound to have no idea at some point. Sounds an awful lot like politicians. Ayo! <laughs> Sometimes they have no ideas, and other times they have bad ideas. I just recycled a joke from somewhere else. <laughs> I suppose. I hope. <laughs> if I am silent, that's because I'm trying to internalize my counts. I gotta make sure they're very accurate. Otherwise, I'll just screw up. Just to the degree of how much I got it, it's left to be seen. Oh, that's right, there we go. I think I already got all 11. What is this, a tomato? a tomato. Apparently I'm not done. Um, did I miss something? Oh. There it was. My bad. That was just like right, right under my eyes. I wonder if there are still people that think tomatoes are vegetables. Even though they've been known as fruits years ago. Apparently, technically, cucumber is a fruit. It blows my mind, too. Like, nothing we know is real anymore because of that. 
the whole thing about like fruits and vegetables. And now certain things are fruits that we did not think were fruits. I, I don't know, man. It's like a whole new world. So, if you're having a pizza with tomato sauce, is it really just like a fruit topping? Apparently it is! It just feels weird, you know? But, it is what it is! Apparently, like, uh, pineapples don't grow on trees, they also grow in the ground. Things are just becoming more and more unusual. Just new. They're, they're not the same. Okay, let's just uh, deal with the rest of this here. I'm getting a little too nostalgic for this, for my liking. is done. Now we just gotta figure out what we're making. Is this an anchor? It feels kinda symmetrical. Yeah, it kinda does. is an anchor. We are figuring it out all so slowly. Now, it is kind of like uneven on this part right here. So, I don't feel surprised I'm going to get thrown off. That's not an anchor, that's a flower. Oh, okay, I was, I was off. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you can stop a ship with a flower. It, it would take, like, a lot of them. And they'd have to weigh as much as an anchor. In fact, they'd probably have to be an anchor, so I don't think it'll work at all. Um, I guess we'll just deal with the rest of it. Apparently, my, I, my thought of discerning different shapes is a little off today. I don't know why. Okay, what do we got? Can't do anything about the top yet. Oh, we can fill this in. And this. Not certain if this is gonna be right here. Oh, apparently it was. That was a guess. Maybe it would have been right regardless, and I'm just losing my mind. All you see are squares now. It just messes up your mind. Like there's no round shapes anymore. No vegetable tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think we're ready for this. Like, you know, like, we legalize gay marriage in a lot of places, which I'm happy about, but I don't know about, like, cucumbers and tomatoes being fruits. Like, we're going from, like, one fruit to another. 
Just saying. <laughs> are so big. Oh, Grand Goomba! I never would have thought of that aspect. I really would not have. Like, that's just completely left field. Now, let's see what we're gonna have to make on this side. like cigarette butts. I don't know, that's, that's your thing. You do you. As long as you don't blow that smoke in my face. Thankfully, I'm not allergic to it. It's just, you know, a courtesy. Don't go blowing that uh, e-smoke in my face either. I don't care if it smells like watermelon. Just rude. be called a cup. Oh, coffee cup. Okay, so there was no of in the thing, so it was completely wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um, what do we gotta make? That's a good question. Start things out on this side. Anytime you get the borders, that's always a good thing. Three 
she's definitely not here. And then there's these. Good. Okay, we're getting a lot done somewhere. Wait. Oh, this is a definite as well. episode like I just do things and I don't know what it is I'm doing like, why am I here what is this oh I think I'm making a, a puppy dog I think this is a puppy dog see this being anything else right now. Uh, yeah. Like, this is definitely a dog. We, we did it, guys. We, we solved the riddle of the Sphinx. Even though, like, a sphinx had nothing to do with a dog. Egyptians were cat people. That is why their civilization is pretty much extinct. Or at least the ancient civilization was extinct. Egyptians are not extinct! I mean, they're still Egypt! Let's, uh, dismiss that idea that there's no Egypt anymore. It, it's, it's there. It exists. And I'm pretty sure it's a... That dogs being indoctrinated into that country is why we still have. It. Oh, they call it a mutt. That's kind of rude. God. All right, let's work on this one. I think we're gonna do a couple more, and then I'll call it an episode. Eventually, I'll just get bored of doing that episode, and then and then you want to take a break from it. Same could be said for pretty much any other game. A select few you might want to finish all the way through if it's really, really good. That's entirely up to your personal tastes. Like a pair of pants? I like to buy a vowel, you know, and solve the rest of this. <laughs> oh, that's not a thing. Okay. I'll, I'll just, like, uh, do the daily double then. Which, for some people, is just a cup of coffee. And oftentimes, they just put in a lot of stuff that bogs you down even more. I wonder how many people would turn away from pumpkin spice lattes if it turns out there's gluten in them. Makes you wonder. I'm pretty sure that's an old joke, too. I mean, you like pumpkin spice lattes? You know what? You do you. That's fine. Just don't blow pumpkin spice smoke in my face, either. Alright? Oops. That was wrong. aren't pants. It could be, like, overalls. 
Possibly. Could be just about anything. You never know in this game. Pretty soon this will be pants. Other times we're gonna find out that pants are a fruit as well. And I can't live in that kind of world. That's the kind of world like, you know what, we've gone too far. We gotta roll it back to the old days of when pants were vegetables. Alright, let's see what we made. Oh, there were overalls. Okay. Well, my second guess was right, so therefore I win. Okay, well, technically there's a 13 by 13 puzzle. That narrows things down just a smidgen. Again, I shouldn't be deciding what I'm making if I only just started. You know, eventually this music will be seared into my head forever. And it will just never get out. Like, it'll just remain trapped in purgatory forever. That's what's going to happen. Okay, this is definitely the shot in the dark, but it worked. And here, good. Now there's still the matter of all this. making Canada right here. This is crazy. I don't know which one I actually put in. Just gonna call it a leaf? Yeah, it's just like a generic leaf. Um, I think now would be a good time to uh, end it here. So in the next part, we'll go to 4D. Goodbye, everyone.